Now we're back in the grand final between Rex Regum and Team MYS. We had a rematch from the winner bracket final. And again, we have MYS already going back to their Mr. Mime with a Buswall, Ushifu, Hooper, and Iglesion up against Rex Regum again going for the Clefable Blast Toys in Ninetales. Finally again with a Dodrio and a Lapras. And again, we have two, exp uh, two Assault Vests on the left side. Which, again, I just don't think it makes a lot of sense in these kind of games. They're only up against really Glacier, Mr. Mime. Um, but maybe there's just something behind. Maybe there's just more to it. I just don't know what there is more to it. I really just don't. Maybe they pick it because it's visual clutter or something. And it might confuse the opponents a tiny bit. Seeing a sheet around, you don't know what the sheet is about. Who knows? Because I can't quite... I just don't, I just don't really get it. I honestly just don't really get it. But let's just go into the game. We have again Froggy and Foxy on the spot path going up against a Lapras actually going for the invade right now. So Woodpick is going to be alone. Lapras trying to invade onto this Kapu, which again is one of the worst early game Pokemon in the entire game. Zoe though getting caught right here, trying to score six points, gets it off, but it's for sure going to fall. There we go, the Mega Punch comes through. And Clefairy gets taken down by the Hooper basic attack. Lapras on the left side. Doesn't, didn't, didn't quite get the buff, so now Iluna's gonna get run down, surely but slowly. Uses the X speed, is actually going to towards the berries. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Picks up both berries, back to full HP, even scores two more points on them. And <laughs> just gonna probably run away right here. Ice Shard, can Iluna get away is the question. Healing from Clefairy, no, Lapras does finally go down in the end. And gets taken down. What path now, Yang, with the Surging Strikes Shifu. Goes in with a full heal as well, looking for AXQ. Can't quite get the KO, but at least gets 10 points in. Goes in into the Flux though right now and takes him down. This time MOS turning up the heat in this early game. Just going for a Flux Zone dive. Successful, Iluna also might fall here again to the Ushifu damage. Two, two KOs now for the Water Bear or for the Blueberry, whatever you want to call it. Ying also is going for Eo now. Another surging strike comes through, triple KO now. And instantly going for the Invade. Blue buff is here. Might as well take it. No, taking everything now. Taking everything from Rex Regum in this early game. Going for the rip of next and Dodrio is going to be a very sad bird. And he finds that the Zhang is going to be currently invaded and taken. Nothing he can do about it now. They're also going to be in position for this mid Ataria fight now. And now MYS looking much, much better this early game. So we're actually going for invade right here though. And takes away the red buff. He has to try and run away with the Moonlight now. 17 and 10 points going on bot path. And Dodrio is also going to score another 22. Froggy can't quite defend this. Because he's not a defender. He's just a support. How is he going to defend goals if he's not a defender, right? That's how the game works, I think. I'm not sure. You tell me. 60 points to 60 points, though. So Rex Dragon pulling ahead in points. But another KO as well. Emu's going to take down the Clefable. On top path. Hoopa now porting Glacian towards bot path. Getting ready for this Altaria spawn and then getting the advantage. For the bot Reggie fight. Getting almost level 9. Such a huge lead right now. Of course, has to be careful if he gets taken down on his love experience getting donated over to Rex Regum. So has to be a tiny bit careful asserting strikes going in, going back out. Level 9 now achieved. They are going to take Hyperspace Portal back to full HP. Very balanced and fair move. <laughs> and now the Reggie is going to spawn. There we go. And of course, MS is going to start it. They don't have really secured last hitting, though, so Yang has to just look for the fight. Activating the right here, diving in, but he's stuck in the gravity, but has the full heal to unstoppable. Goes for the Reggie Rock, and Glacian is going secured for the side of MOS. And now Yang just keeps on diving. Does they have the Night Boom? going to activate onto AXQ. Night Hits gets smashed down by the punches of, of Yang. He's going to try to keep diving this Flux down. Three points go in, nine points go in. Are they going to try to score 30 for Glacian? Yes, they're going to break this goal. Glacian on hitting level eight as well for the Unite move. And MYS with a huge lead in this early game. 147 to 65 points. Nine Tits just getting Unite move by Yoshifu from 100 to 0. Not much Nine Tits can do about it unless you have full heal, which running full heal on Nine Tails doesn't really feel great. Nothing you do. Zoe Stitch trying to look for stacking right now. You can, this is why Clefabe keeps running into the gold. <laughs> Froggy is trying very hard. But in the end, the attack speed of Mr. Mime is a tiny bit too slow. And Zoe is going to run away. After scoring more points for that special specs. They're gonna try to break the goal as right now. They wanna get 40 points in. There's the surf coming in into the super pose onto the water hotel, who's not level 9 yet, and just gets taken down. Icicle Spears are falling Dodrio. Eo has to run away. Glacian is still going to chase right now, but 40 points. Oh no, they didn't go for the 40 points. Going to recall in here, maybe. 
Foxy has to be careful, but he's going to let Dodrio. He doesn't want to chase it. Chasing a Dodrio is so annoying. And instead, he's going to secure the Regilecki. Azori is still scoring points for the special specs. The support just on a mission right now to make sure that they can win late game team fights because they know this early game is probably pretty over. Oh, Dodrio getting stunned by the red buff. He gets stunned by the red buff, and now Team OS just goes in and finishes, finishes him off. I'm going to try to maybe dive onto the score as well. No surf goes in. Blast is very low on HP already. MOS looking for this push super bomb gets dropped. That's going to be a huge some Blast is so jack buttoning forward, hitting four members of MOS into the turret, but he gets stuck on the barrier. And this time, just a great counter towards this Blast, so he's surfing in because he always gets stuck on them. But they're currently winning the team fight. Surf goes in. Rigilecki is being cleared now. But no casualties. Everyone is going to live. Every single person is going to live out of this fight. No one goes down. But now the hyperspace port advantage from Hooper comes in. They are going to port instantly towards bot path after this top fight. And they're going to get the Regis here pretty much for free. So I'm still trying to defend alone on top path. And can he do it? The <laughs> barriers are so annoying. They're going to hyperspace port it back onto top now. He's going to unite Hooper as well anyways just for better defense. Best hyperspace portal. There it is, I think. Hooper used it for damage, which made it be on cooldown for way too long. So a bit of a Hooper mistake there. But in the end, Mr. Mime is able to defend the goal alone anyways. With that Unite move. And it's going to make sure that MYA stays in this point lead. 180 to 95 points. And two minutes to go for the double time. MYA is looking good in this game. The best they have done so far today, I feel like in the early game at least. Still a bit for the Yoshifu. I, I, can't really I can't really say who has better late game team fighting, but I would say Rex Regum had better late game team fighting. They have a late game lab press, plus this Unite. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not really too crazy either. Dodrio is pretty strong, but does fall off a tiny bit as well. Nine tails is alright in late game team fights. The Fable is pretty OP though. The Fable is pretty, pretty OP in late game fights. Virgil Lake now being taken by MYS. Hydro Pump might try to steal it away, but no. Clefable using Unite move there with a the fly in, but just flies into <laughs> just flies into its own death. Tried to go for the last, it was a tiny bit too late. And Mime's still on defense duty, and they're gonna try to go. There's the eject button, smackdown onto the lab press. Stuck on the barrier, using the X speed though, might just run away in time. Emu on the chase, but they don't have enough damage to take on the slab press, who just runs away to safety. 20 seconds now for this next ready to spawn on bot path. MYS for sure have an advantage over this, of course, again with their goal behind. And it's gonna be huge for their team fighting for this last two minutes. Maybe they even get a steal. A steal for Shifu and Glacium would be absolutely massive. I mean, it's just good on every single Pokemon. Mr. Mime as well, of course. With more special attack, does a lot more damage. But it's going to be Regice. More healing over time, which is also nice with the Hooper, because Hooper, besides Hyperspace Portal, can't quite provide healing. Who's going to get it? Basu is going to get it. The camera going away for the last second <laughs> to see who gets the last hit, but MY is going to secure it. So a bit more combat healing as well, also of the Hyperspace Portal, which is always nice as well. XQ almost level 30 now. And MYS is going to take full control of this Rayquaza pit right now. They don't have too big of a lead. Really a very low point. Or oh, points in a uh, very, very low point game so far. That's what I wanted to say. Yo, is level 30 on the Dodrio. It's also quite, quite scary. So I was going in. Blast is just trying to scout out where MYS is hiding. And Basswell looking for the back cap right now. He has Hoopa in his team. He can always just port to Rayquaza instantly. So looking for that back cap right here. Mr. I'm still on defender duty on top path. And there's 100 points going in. And now MYS is in a big lead. So Rack Dragon is going to engage right now. The fight might be breaking out already. Hooper getting chased towards the left side. But has the Phantom Force, of course, to maybe escape. Using the Unbound quite deep in the enemy team. Doji going in for Unite, but completely missing it. There's Blasters as well. Jumping in now. The fight's breaking out. But it's looking very good for Rex Dragon right now. Team Earth is so squishy. And they're already going to take down the Glaceon. They're going to run over the Yoshifu. And Rex Dragon. They just seem too tanky. If they're on the same position, they're so, so tanky. And hard to take down. The Faber with that late game heal healing in team fights is just absolutely crazy as well. Half HP now for the Rayquaza. Hooper's going to try to look for the Seal. Buzzword trying to wrong, walk in as well again from bot path, but being zoned out by Lapras. Mime taking down. And Rayquaza low HP. There's the Pump Server who's going to get it. And it goes over to the Lapras. And Rex Raven gets the Rayquaza in the end after winning the team fight. 90 points going for Zoe. 100 points also going for AXQ, and that should be the second or the first game of the Grand Final. Yeah, it's going to be it. I mean, Yoshifu's going to st stop them right here, actually. 
but that's too big of a lead, I think. And Amboy still has to run towards the left side. So, Rex Regum takes the first game. Second game of the grand final. Left side, Rex Regum going for Lapras, Clefable, Trevenant, Glaceon, and Ninetales. The double Fox comp. And this time, MYS picking up the blouses for themselves with a Venusaur, Ushifu, Upa, and again, the Mr. Mime. Just keep on believing this Mr. Mime, which I feel like, I mean, it's doing all right. When last game, they are kind of winning quite hard, just lost the last team fight. So they're going to stick to it. And we have Foxy, going to be a Beam Venusaur for sure. Spoon, Choice Bex, and Energy Amp, the normal Beam build. So yeah. All right. And whereas with very good early game last game, let's see if they can repeat it. With that Roshifu as well again. Roshifu, of course, they're one of the best early game Pokemon after level 5. Until level 5, he's terrible. But after level 5, it turns into an absolute monster. Doesn't matter which bit you go for. And Foxy currently being left alone on bot. Just again, Froggy was shaking to see if Lapras was invading again. Just scouting out the entrance. And Lapras was showing on bot path. So Mr. Mime cannot join the Bulbasaur. On bot path. But we already have the first casualty. Zoe again just trying so hard to go for stacking. Gets caught in this early game. At this point, is it really too good to go for these suicide caps? It didn't really work out last game. But I mean, I, I guess it makes Zoe very strong for the last team fight of the game, right? In the last team fight, the Cliff Haber was healing so much. So maybe it's worth it. Because they had no chance. MRS just couldn't out the damage the Cliff Haber healing in that last team fight. So maybe in the end, it is worth it. If you get that strong for late game team fights. And get more moonlight healing, moonlight healing out, right? Maybe. Currently, Rex Dragon with four members on bot path. Going in for the Centauria. We have level five now hit for the Ivysaur. And my internet died again. But I'm going to keep on casting. Hope my internet comes back. 12 points going for the Yoshifu. 16 to 41 points. And... Uh, yeah, Rex Regum just looking for the push right here. Abyss Space Portal coming through. They're going to try to look for the enemy Pokemon right here. 18 points going for the Trevenant. 33 to 41. Very close early game so far. Neither team really getting too big of an advantage when it comes to experience. Yang this time can't quite find the early game that he had last game. Only level 6 for now. Two minutes into the match. Last game I was almost level 8 already at this point. For well, the Ataria fight now, it's going to be a 4v3. Trevenant's also going to join with the flank, maybe, on the Wood Hammer. But the Ataria just go down. No one's going to get killed in the end. And everyone's going to leave back to their places to farm up stuff. Froggy almost level 6 now, picking up the barrier very soon. And the bunny goes down. Necro now level 7. For the side of Rex Regum. So, the Trevenant actually doing very well. He's the highest level on the left side right now. Rex Dragon again just kind of falling behind in experience in this early game. But Yang almost level 9 now goes in again for the Ataria. 8.5. He's going to be the one with the Unite move again in this early game. XQ. Using that, uh, using that Blizzard up against the barrier. And now we have the Bot Reggie spawning. And Emma is already in position for it. Neither team really has insane last hitting. But I actually have Solar Beam on the right side for the last hitting. Yang is level 9 again. I want to see him be aggressive now. But also, he has to be careful of the Ice SP. He's just going to get Horn each away using the full heal. But he's going to claim the Registeer. While the side of MYS just goes in. Two members down of Rex Regum. And again, MYS with a better early game. They win the first team of the game. And that's 40 points going in for the Shifu as well. 30 points going for the Blast Toys. And Blasters can keep on stacking as well now. Has the special specs on. Is going to go in and keep on stacking. 30 points also going for Mr. Mime. And again, MOS just repeating what they did last game. Winning the early game. <laughs> and again, Zoe just always running towards these goals with low points. And trying to get those stacks in. Foxy getting close to level 9 as well now. Level 10 for Yimu. Highest in the game right now is the uh, Oshifu again on level 11. So a huge lead for MOS. 22 points, try to go in for the Hooper, but Cliff Hable is there to defend. And Lapras gets caught trying to invade. Also taken down. Next, Ataria spawn in just 5 seconds. You're jumping in, but there's a hyperspace portal there, and Fazer is going to take it. And is going to live away from it. And Reggie Lake is now being restarted by Team OS. There's a Blaster Unite to zone, and there's the Solar Beam in to secure the objective. Wonderfully done by MOS. Very good Blaster Unite, but he's going to get taken down. I don't think he, he even expected to get taken down there. 
Just loses so much HP there while being in the rapid spin and can't quite lift it. And the Regilecki just got defended in like one second. <laughs> it died so fast. Of course, up against the Icicus Spear Glaceon. In objective, really is not going to live all too long. And it was completely obliterated. Completely obliterated. Foxy with that Sludge Bomb. Trying to defend the goal. And that's a Hoopan Bone actually coming on bot port. The MRS is looking for a second goal push right now. Venus into the Nightproof as well, trying to get some damage done with the Sludge Bomb. But can they take down the lap? Is the question. This is a very risky play now because the, the members of Rex Regum now are joining in. That's one already down. Actually, no one's down yet. They're actually going to score those points. 40 26 go in. Trevin is going to take down Venusaur and Hooper for a double KO. But Yang and Froggy were just like, okay, guys, have fun. Deal with the Trevenant. But it's three members down now. Yang is also going to fall next. That's four KOs for Rex Regum. MYS do score some points, but is that really worth it? Because Rex Regum can also just go for this objective now. On bot path. I mean, it was a very risky play and very interesting play with the Hooper and Bounce there. But Rex Regum was able to respond to it in time. Loss is going in with the Nightbuff now, knocking up three members into the Solmir. Solim is going to miss the Reggie Steel, but I think it was too high HP anyways. And Blast is taken down, and now Rex Dragoon with the comeback in this game. Isaac is Spears falling Hooper, but Hooper is going to take a berry just in time to make sure it's going to live. That was uh, very good defense by Rex Dragoon in the end. Very, very good defense. I do like that MYS was trying to be proactive on the goal push, trying to get a big point lead. But uh, it did backfire in the end, but I still like the attempt, which is a very good defense by the Trevenant. And by the rest of the members by Lapras buying enough time to make sure the Trevenant appears again. So he just, <laughs> you can always see this clear fable, just running around, being on goals, trying to score points. It's actually so funny. Venus Ring Knight going in onto the back line, but Knight has eject buttoning away from it. So does Glaceon to make sure both of them don't get taken down by this. And now the fight's breaking out. Team MOS has to disengage. Hooper is currently looking for another backcap. There might be another Hooper and Bound coming through, but no, 40 points just going for Hooper. Hooper's going to finish off the goal. Is he going to walk towards the base maybe and to put a put on a board on the main goal zone now, right? Because Mime is already taken, taken down. Blastoise is going to be taken down. And Rex Regum is just running over this game because MYS support is doing just scoring. Trevin is going to pick up this uh, Regilecki. Hooper's going to score another 28 points. Which is not too bad if MYS just doesn't go down on top path. It's actually quite a good play. They could have even just used the Hooper Unbound to go in. Yes, I know my stream broke. I know. Nothing I can do about it. 163 to 281 points. Big lead for MYS still. But uh, I mean, I think everything over 100, of course, is quite a big lead. In the end, more than 100 points is still not all too much. But still something you can uh, be nice on. Again, it's just like having that 100 point lead just stops you from losing to one back cap and you always know you're still ahead even if you get uh you know that means to one back cap you're still ahead which is always a good feeling you know the next reggie is going to spawn it's going to be another reggie rock half hp already looking for the high solar beam on it we see blast again this this these observers again are just like killing me why why can't we just have the camera on bot path when the objective is going down i just don't get it I think the problem is that they're always just on characters instead of just like, you know, putting the map around. Now, this could be the final fight of the Apex West region. Eo is already bidding up the Ice Kick Crystals. Or the Ice Crystals. Currently at 8, looking for some right now. Blast is going in. Only level 12, though, so not quite tanky. But Eo is level 14. Level 14 Glaceon is so scary. Does so much damage. Rekwa's already at half HP. There's a Glaceon Knight going in as well. They're going to try to gauge onto it, but Glaceon Knight eject e e e e e buttoning away. But I'm going very, very deep for it. Rekwa's dropping low HP. They're going to catch the Glaceon, though. Glaceon taken down, but Yang can't move. He's just stuck in the Hyper and the uh, Bubble Beam. Stuck in the Woodhammer. Double KO for the Nine Tails. It's very difficult for this achiever to play this late game team fight. Bubble Beam locked up again. He slowed down. Triple KO for the Nine Tails. And now we have Rex Regum going for the next Rekwa again. They find three KOs. We have Venus for respawning now, but they might just. Rekwa is going to go down before Venus is there. Oh, the Solim is going to be in range. Is the Solim going to be in range? He's going to try for it. Where's the beam? Where's the Solim? There's Solim, but it's much <laughs> way too early. It is way too early. And Blizzard Nine Tits is going to take the Rayquaza. And they're going to head towards the right side. They're going to score 100 points on the Nine Tits. They're going to keep on moving in. Trevenant is going to score four more points as well. And I think Rex Rego might just be winning right here. But Ushiva is going to stop the scoring from happening. 100 points going for the Lapras. And... Can Team MOS somehow make it towards the left side to score? I'm going to fast forward a tiny bit just to make sure to see what happens. 
Are they gonna go for a final push? There's the final push happening. Rex Dragon will have to have to defend the score, but can they? 100 points would be enough for Embrace to win this game, but I don't think they can. They all get blown into pieces. That's two down, three down, four down. And Rex Dragon are going to be the champions of the Asia Pacific West region. Congrats to them. They're going to be the first seed from this region, heading to the World Championship.